right, one of the things we were conscious about is actually our car doesn't make any sound. So as we were driving it round London, I was watching pedestrians very carefully as to how pedestrians behaved as they approached junctions. And what I noticed was is that uh, if somebody was going to cross the road, they didn't uh, look, they tended to listen first and look second. So this started the, the thought process in our minds is actually, well, is that we've changed something fundamental here. What's its impact on the community? We hit on the idea that although the car is completely quiet externally, actually we had to make it make some form of noise. Um, this was when it got really, really interesting because uh, our Japanese colleagues came up with all sorts of uh, sounds. They, they really got very, very creative and they sent over some file sounds from Japan and we had um, birds singing and uh, we had um, choruses, choirs singing, so as you accelerated the volume of this choir got louder and louder. Um, we had some 1980s sort of like uh, synth sounds and we just thought, no, this is not right. So we worked on some sound files from the UK side and sent them back to Japan. And what we thought was is we focused more on an on authentic electric motor sound. And the final sound that we were able to reach consensus on is actually based on my personal experience of living in Japan. And one of the things my son loved when we were in Tokyo Station was the sound of the Shinkansens pulling out of Tokyo Station. And it epitomizes everything that's good about electricity. They're powerful, they're well constructed, and they have this fantastic sound as the electric motors kick in and the, and the, and the, the locomotive accelerates up to speed. So in a subtle way, we sort of modified this sound, but bringing it more within the frequency range of the emitted sound from the motor and designed a sound that sounds a little bit like a Shinkansen moving away but obviously scaled down so that you're not thinking that you've got a train standing next to you, but actually you've got a, a small car standing next to you. This final sound, generally, every group found that was right for their market. And a key point of this car is it's a global car. Um, we are investing a lot of money into this development, but finding consensus across the world so we can have a common direction is very important to minimise the research costs of the car.